Whether Ukraine employed the US-made attackums or whether it didn't in its uh, strike on Bryansk doesn't is probably going to be an academic issue now. The um, the decision greenlit by the Biden administration reflects a shift in Western resolve to equip Ukraine with long-range capabilities. And President Zelensky, though circumspect about operational details, framed this as a significant moment encountering Russian aggression. And Russia's official response has oscillated between claims of missile interceptions and promises of retaliation. Sergei Lavrov describes the move as a new phase of war by the West and raises uh, and says it raises concerns about how Moscow might recalibrate its strategy. This hybrid warfare, this cornerstone of modern Russian strategy, looms large in these developments with um, uh, the magic weapons, um, the propaganda, the use of um, uh, uh, of targeted destabilizing um, weaponry that, that is uh, that, that, that is already having effects where where, where the West is uncertain of anything. Um, the sabotage of Baltic Sea communication cables underscores this approach. European ministers alarmed by uh, one incident after another have already issued a joint condemnation of Russia's unprecedented and escalating hybrid attacks uh, which go beyond infrastructure sabotage from cyber attacks to assassinations. The playbook targets not just military assets but also the psyche of Western populations. Intelligence reports have been revealed um, that, uh, that, that plots have been thwarted against European defence executives, illustrating how far Moscow is willing to go. And complicating matters further is Vladimir Putin's revised nuclear doctrine, ostensibly lowering the threshold for nuclear use. And while Western officials dismiss this as planned posturing, it sends a clear message. As does the fact that this morning uh, all the Moscow officials have left Moscow. So for what reason? Either because they fear an immediate retaliatory response for something that they are about to do. There are so many rumours running around from an attack on Odessa to an attack on Kyiv to an attack specifically on Zelensky's house. And at the moment, fighter jets are circling Kyiv really for the first time, uh, attempting to intercept any incoming missiles. And this is um, the uh, Ukraine is on high alert. And in the middle of these tensions, the spectre of Donald Trump's potential return to the White House complicates matters. He sta his stated intent to cut aid to Ukraine and broker a Russian favorable peace deal casts uncertainty over Western unity, as does the telephone conversation the other day by uh, the German leader. And analysts speculate that Moscow may bide its time, may refrain from dramatic escalation until the US political landscape clarifies but it may not. It may want to achieve as much as it possibly can to swing the balance in its own favour so that Trump is simply clearing up. So this first attack, um, analysts like Anton Barbashin suggest that Russia's so-called red lines are more symbolic than substantial and each Western escalation invites bluster from Moscow but rarely provokes a proportional response. Well, the past doesn't necessarily dictate the future. And uh, as Ky Kiev presses forward militarily, Moscow adapts with its hybrid tactics, its threats, its um, to, to, uh, to chip away at the unity and the morale of the West. This global chess game which which sees Kyiv as a major piece on the chess board underscores the fragile balance of modern warfare, of modern conflict, how dangerous it is but equally, uh, 
how much we how, how much we need to stand up against aggressors like Putin how we cannot allow an aggressive invasion of a sovereign state to go unchallenged uh, no, note there I, I I'm, I'm, I'm deliberately avoiding the word unpunished unpunished is we, 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 we should take these ideas of punishment and blame out of the out of the textbook but challenge we must stand up we must challenge the aggressor and we must respond with with with, with, with clear um, with, with clarity because that's what we're not doing and we have the tools and the um, sense to be able to deal with the propaganda battle that Russia is waging and we're not doing so we think the propaganda is about us it's arrogant and it's short-sighted the propaganda is about Russia and if we could break into that propaganda then we would stand significantly more chance of countering the threat of Putin or the Putinistas the the Putin uh, regime because Putin isn't real Putin may not even be alive but the Putin regime the dark sinister silent forces that surround um, Putin that created Putin these are real enough and because we don't really know who they are that makes it so much more dangerous Putin in the smeg fridge is small fry Putin as a concept Putin as the as the um, embodiment of the Kremlin that is a dangerous figure and something something is going on at this moment today